we have a simple log equation here to solve. This equation itself might be simple, but the property involved behind it is pretty profound. So let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this type of problems. Property of logs are two folds. Uh, they're actually corollary to each other, but the basic one is the first one. When you have two logs, taking a log um, A times B, a product or something, you can reduce the order operation into adding in that it's two logs adding to each other. Again, so number one, the first one is the, the most important one. If this one is firmly established, the, the second one is pretty easy because if you have A squared, which is A times A, using the property of the first one, since it's a multiplication, I can have A log A add another log A, which really is twice of log A. Now notice how this hat, this a squared, gets fell off in the front. So log of a squared is two times log of a. Reversely, using for this problem that we were to solve, we can put this three that's in front of the log back onto the hat position as the reverse of two over here. So it's a log of four to the third. The reason I want to do that is I want to have two logs clean without any coefficients in the front so I can equip them. And that would simplify the problem on how to solve the log. So let's write up the equation here. Okay, so here's the solution. The left term, I'm putting the two back onto the hat position is log x squared. The right hand expression, I'm putting the three back onto the hat position is log four cubed. Now I have two logs, as I intended, that equal to each other. You can take a 10 to the left side and 10 to the right side. Or equivalently, since the two logs are identical, you can see this chunk is equal to this chunk. That's what I did over here. Square roots on both sides, uh, x is equal to plus minus 8. Now, requirement of log x, that x has to be bigger than 0. So in the end, there's only one solution, x equal to 8. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.